Black Magic Design the other day released the beta version of Resolve 18 along with some new hardware. Now they had a presentation where they went over a lot of the big features. And in this video, I'm going to be going over 15 new features. Some of them they went over and others they didn't mention. Uh, most of them are in the notes for the new uh, release, but not all of them. And also, I'm not going to go over the features, most of the new features in uh, the studio version and in the color page because I don't have a studio version. I'm just using the free version for right now. And others have also gone over the, like, the big flashy features. So these 15 features are all going to be available in the free version, just the regular Resolve 18 beta and not the studio. So keep watching and I'll go over these 15 new features. These next few changes were all done in the edit page. So I'm going to go over those first. So the first one I mentioned here is they give you the ability to reverse some of the motion and iris transitions. I used to be able to do it one way and now you could do it both forward and reverse. So I'll show that first here. So I'll demonstrate with the barn door transitions. So I'll drag that over between the two clips here. Now click on it so that you can see it in the inspector at different settings. And you can see right here you have a reverse button. So if I play it, scrub through it here, you see it starts in the middle and then opens up and transitions to the second clip. So if we hit the reverse, then it's just the opposite. It's closing the barn door, so they're starting open and finishing with the second clip. So it's a nice addition. I was actually working on some uh, transitions, custom transitions that uh, enabled this, but now in Resolve 18, they've done it natively, so I really shouldn't have to do that. Still might do it for Resolve 17 uh, if you don't want to transition to Resolve 18 yet. But that's the uh, first uh, change they made is the reversible transitions for motion and for the iris. The next change they made is to the uh, adjustment clip. Now they made a change so that if you add it to your timeline and if you go to Fusion, it'll look like the frames are now set correctly. It used to be a problem with the previous versions resolve with the adjustment clip, but they actually introduced new issues with it. So I have a separate video on my channel uh, that goes over what changes they made and what mistakes they've made with the newest version. So I won't go over that further here. I'll leave a link down below in the description to that video. But uh, at least they were trying to change it. And hopefully by the time they get the final version of Resolve 18 out, they will have actually fixed it totally. Next change they made on the edit page Resolve 18 beta is the ability to reset fusion compositions on two different clips. Before, if you just select more than one clip, you wouldn't get the option of resetting the fusion composition. But here, you can see that I have some fusion on both of these clips. Now I'll select them both and go reset fusion composition. Say reset. And give it a second. And now it's reset them on both clips. So that's handy if you have a whole different whole collection of clips that you want to reset the fusion comp and get rid of what's on there now. Uh, that'll be real handy. Next change they made in Resolve 18 beta is the inclusion of a new Resolve FX called Fast Noise. It's very similar to the one on in the Fusion page. We just drag that over and that creates some fast noise. So you come over to the Effects tab on the Inspector and you can change different presets. So here you do a mist, so it's just very fine. Very subtle. Smoke's a little more in your face here, a little more noticeable. And you can see it kind of drifting along like it would be a, a bill of smoke. And you could change the different individual parameters. But that's a, uh, for, it's a nice thing to add to the edit page so you don't have to go to Fusion to add these kind of effects if you just want to kind of uh, quickly do it on the edit page. And it should also be a little bit faster than doing it in the Fusion page. Another change they made is to the edge detect FX on the edit page. To come over here to resolve FX stylize, you have edge detect. So you drag that to a clip. And again, come over to the effects panel here on the inspector. Now, one of the changes they made here is if you come to filters, you have the ability to do half edges only. So here you can see it does everything fully. Come here, you can keep the light side. Keep the dark side and you can just kind of mess with all these different parameters and get the effect you want and you can always come down to global blend 
and dial in how much of the effect you want. But it's a nice addition to uh, give you a little more control over the uh, edge detect filter. Another welcome change in Resolve 18 Beta is the ability to now assign shortcuts to the open in fusion and render in place. So you come here, if you go into the keyboard customization, type in fusion in the search box there. You can see now you could add a shortcut to open in fusion page and can also do that with the render in place. So that's a very welcome addition. Even though everything changed in this Resolve beta isn't major, they are welcome changes. One very welcome change they made in the new beta Resolve 18 is they've done quite a revamp on the subtitles. So before you could come in here and add subtitle track, then you could right click and add a subtitle. But now you can have simultaneous subtitles by enabling a new feature called Add Subtitle Region. Then you can add a new subtitle. And I'll call this one Subtitle 2. Call this one Subtitle 1. And I change the location. You can see now I have two different subtitle tracks. And there's quite a few other changes. I'm not going to go over all the changes. I might do that in another video. But just know that they've revamped the subtitles quite a bit, and it's really something probably worth getting uh, to know how they uh, changed it and how you could use it, but it is a definite welcome change. Next few changes are going to be focused on what they did in the Fusion page. One of the things they've done is allowed like kind of live preview of color changes in both text, background nodes, and paint, and pretty much anything used where you use a color picker. So here I come over to the color picker. I've clicked on it and choose it. Now if I change the colors here, you can see I'm changing live in the viewers there. So I'll pick a different color. But the same thing is going to be for background. So I'll put that in the second viewer here. I come over here to the color picker. Right up here. And I can change the color live. Change to this green here. And then the same thing with paint. So I can go over to paint. I can paint a stroke here. More modifiers. I go to my first stroke here. Go to color picker, and I could do a live change of the color. So that's very handy. So you could see it actually in the viewer, and not just have to see it on the color picker and guess how it's going to look in your composition. So that is a pretty welcome change. Another change they made in the Fusion page Resolve 18 is they've changed the design layout of some of their buttons and some of their tools, some of their nodes. You come over to shading here. It used to be a drop down box, but now they have individual buttons. Select elements here. And if you enable one, you see it stays highlighted, it stays right here. If I go back to that, click disable, then just the one that's enabled. So it's just a nice change, it changes up the look a little bit. Uh, again, not a major deal, but it is a new difference in the Resolve 18. Another change they made to the Fusion page in Resolve 18 is with the merge nodes, they've changed some of the composite modes. So if you come to apply mode, you have the normal ones here, but you also have some ones that weren't here before, like hypotenuse and geometric, and just some of these other ones. And then also, once you select that, if you come over to operator, there's new operators here, stencil and disjoint and conjoint. So you just kind of play around with those and see how they interact with your compositions. Another thing they added in the Fusion page of Resolve 18 is the custom poly modifier. So if you have a polygon either in, as a mask or a, from the paint node, if you then come over to the inspector and right click where it says right click here for shape animation, you'll be able to insert and it's the custom poly, source polyline custom poly here. And that adds the custom poly modifier. So you come over to modifiers. And I don't know a bunch about this. I've been playing with it a little bit. Uh, it has a little bit in the manual, but not a whole lot. But basically what it does is it creates a different, basically a different poly where you can modify the original one you uh, did for animation purposes. So if you come up here, you have a number of different points. So it starts off with 20, but you can reduce that amount and 
if you take this, it changes the uh, original poly. And you come over, also come over here, and it creates three different ones here. So if you come out of this one now, I can click on this and change the shape of this, and it will modify its original poly. Thanks. So you you could get different kinds of animations. So again, just something to kind of play around with. I'll probably do a video in the future. Uh, kind of going over how this effect works a little bit more there's a lot of different things you could change in here it's like the other custom tools that you could use in fusion another small change they made to the fusion page is with the duplicate node they made it perform better be a little bit quicker so it's a little more performant and they've also added both blur and glow so you blur it, you can make it glow. So some small changes, but I'm sure you can find some uses for it. Every change isn't going to be a major change, but it is nice that they're at least thinking about the Fusion page. Another change they made in Resolve 18 Beta is the ability, uh, they made it easier to save your default settings for your projects. So basically, uh, before you have any kind of uh, timeline open, you come down and open up your project settings here. Now you ha always have the ability to use presets and set up for different, if you have different resolutions you want to work in, if you have different frame rates by default and all those different settings, it was a little more of a hassle to go in here, set up your master settings and then come up to preset and save as and save it and everything. But now they've made it pretty easy that you just set up all your different settings here. So I have it set here for projects for uh, 2560 by 1440 for a particular usage case. A uh, frame rate of 30 frames per second. Have my video monitoring set up the way I want it. Uh, they don't have a 1440, but 1080p 30 is fine for viewing it for my uses. And you also have the ability to set up your proxy media resolution and format. Same thing with optimized media and your render cache and all these different settings you could set up. And once you have that all set up the way you want, instead of having to go up to presets and saving it, just come up to the three dots menu in the upper right here. Click on that and just set say set current settings at default preset it'll say are you sure just say yes or update and then it'll update it so whenever you start resolve and start off with the project it'll use these settings and then you can go to your other presets if it's something that you're not usually using so you could do back to 1080 or 720 or uhd 4k whatever that's a very quick and easy way to get all those set up and just come up to the three dots menu save the preset and you're good to go the last change I might go over that's actually in the app for Resolve 18 Beta is under the Deliver tab. They come over here and go to Individual Clips. If you want to render out the uh, timeline effects, uh, it's been much requested on the message boards for Resolve. The ability to actually kind of bake in the effects, well, they now give you that ability, both audio and fusion effects. You just check this box right here, Render Timeline Effects. Now I'm actually going to put a separate video for that on my channel. So but that is a welcome addition uh, to Resolve 18 Beta. The final change I'm going to go over with Resolve 18 Beta is the inclusion of the Blackmagic Proxy Generator. Now the Studio version gets the full version, but the free version gets the Proxy Generator Lite. So if you go under Blackmagic Design under your Start menu, and click on that, that will bring up the Proxy Generator. And then you can just basically have it select a folder that you wanted to watch, and then anything added to that folder It'll create proxies for, and you could choose from three different formats here, at least on my system. I have two different H.264s, one H.265, and then it'll automatically generate the proxy files for you. So again, that's a nice, nice addition to Resolve 18. So that was 15 changes they made in Resolve 18 beta. Some were larger than others, uh, but they're all welcome. Uh, hopefully they'll refine them and maybe add some more features uh, in the coming weeks before they go final probably sometime in i'd say probably like jaw in a few months so hopefully you found this video useful and i thank you for watching